Tower of Grid Bound. Ahoy there, we are back at Tower of Grid lot after six weeks. We've been watching the weather, uh, wondering how it might look like here when it when it's raining, and now we know. <laughs> Uh, what you hear is uh, the rain on uh, our little cabin on the wheels. There were uh, several windstorms uh, and when we came we found that uh, some trees are down. Uh, fortunately nothing big that we couldn't handle. The weather has been uh, really um, kind of on and off. Uh, raining a lot but there are breaks in the clouds and in the rain. and. Uh, we get out and do a little bit of work or a little bit of walking around. Uh, we saw some uh, nice rainbow earlier today. So far so good. Last time uh, I found that uh, the pipe from the holding tank is basically just hanging by thread. I had a bunch of zip ties for several years and they lasted well, so I am hoping that uh, this should be enough. Uh, I'll just put some zip ties around it, attach it to the frame and uh, hopefully that should be good. Here is the bracket that got broken. This is how it looks for, like from below. I wonder if I should add one more zip tie to that just to have some safety. So. So you have two sets of zip, zip ties here, it's uh, holding quite tight, that should be enough for us to get back home. It's time to get out of here. Yeah, all that stuff in my mouth, in my teeth. Hey, Cindy, <laughs> we did it. We did it. The pipe is fixed. Did you fix the pipe? Did you fix the? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. break in the weather it might be no rain for a few minutes what I'm going to do is 
get my uh, super secret security camera. These are trail cameras that I have placed around the property um, in strategic spots, maybe strategic, and uh, uh, we are going to see what they have recorded. Uh, this one has been here for oh, almost two and a half months, so it might have some interesting footage. I'm especially, well, obviously. I'm looking for a recording of anything that uh, might go wrong, you know, if somebody tries to get into the shed or if uh, a tree falls, I would have evidence for the insurance, I don't know, but I'm especially interested to see if any wildlife by any chance will get recorded on these cameras. So this is one, let's go get the other one. There it is. Here is our second security camera. Of course, uh, these are not uh, these are not online, so it's all after the fact. Now, I don't. Oh, there it is. I I didn't really remember where the third camera was placed. Okay, I can see it now. pictures on this one between October 7 and today. I think we are going to delete all these because there is nothing interesting there at all. This camera is the one that was just uh, sitting between the rocks, so it's really dirty. One thing I really don't want to do is uh, get all the dirt inside the computer. Alright, 284 pictures. So I guess it does take pictures, but uh, that's me walking by. <laughs> I think if this was a thief, we would have a hard time finding who it was. Oh, our neighbor walked by. Evidence. The idea for uh, for these uh, cameras actually came from our neighbors. I um, accidentally found they had one, and uh, um, then I sent them an email and say, "Hey, I'm pretty sure you will have some mug shots of me when I was." Uh, doing some uh, surveying and measuring the, the boundaries between the properties and uh, so they did actually go back and found some pictures of me so now I can pay them back okay and the last camera because it was pointing to the to the road you can see vehicles passing by we see that uh, on September 20th, our neighbors had some gravel delivered. Big machine. Ani, what are you doing? Uh, I am still marking. Still marking. It's not that late, it's only dark. 
Okay, you guys, if you are tired, we can finish it with a chainsaw. Oh my god, yes. no! Yeah. Alright. You're fucking. Are we ready for this? Yes! Cut another one. Cut another little piece of it. I can't see this. We cannot see that the story is okay. So now that uh, the youngsters have done some work, I feel bad that I'm not doing any, so I'm going to do some clearing myself. I did a bit of work, but didn't check if the chain was, uh, I mean, I checked it at the beginning, but uh, uh, over time the chain got loose and now it jumped the bar, so that's it. That's it for now. have to go see if the chain is uh, good enough to be put back on and continue working or if I will have to get a new one. Usually when it happens uh, some of the guides on the bottom bottom part of the chain get damaged and they can't be put back on the bar and uh, you have to get a new chain. So let's hope this is not the case here. So here is a closer look at uh, the chain, so I need to take this cover off and uh, inspect the chain and uh, let's keep the fingers crossed that I can uh, put it back on and uh, continue some work. So this chain is definitely busted. The question is how much busted it is. Let me see. Let me see in some detail. Uh -huh. The guide is cut. The guy is cut right there. There it is. There is the cut in the guide. I think this one and this one here. So um I could file it down this one here. I think I could file it down and uh, make it smooth again, but I don't. You know, here is the uh, here is another one. Well, interesting. Oh well, this is it for this chain. Uh, after lunch, I will grab a new chain and put it on. My chainsaw is back there. I had to go inside the shed and it just happens that, ah, ah, look at that, it's as if it was waiting for me. So, uh, 
This is a brand new steel chain and uh, hopefully it will fit. So here is where I actually found YouTube to be amazing because uh, there is all sorts of information and uh, not only I learned from YouTube, well, learned is a strong word, but um, got inspired that uh, I at least have an idea what's going on with uh, a chainsaw chain whereas half a year ago I was like okay I know it exists <laughs> that was about it so I know now what all the guides are for and uh, I saw some other video if I find it I'll put a link to it um, some uh, video that shows how you can actually file those uh, guide teeth uh, down so they can go back inside. Now uh, um, my wife Bobby actually um, busted a chain a few months ago so now I told her we are one on one, one to one on the chain busted. Chains are not, ex not cheap they are I think about 30 bucks yeah anyway uh, let me put it on Other tip I got from some local people who have a lot of experience with chains is whenever you change the chain um, switch the direction of the bar because the bar will then get the more evenly worn and will last longer. Alright, so this guy has been kind of a thorn in my back. Uh, I'm glad it's now out and cut into pieces and we can, uh, next time we come, we can uh, continue clearing the land here. You know, some people wonder why I have this uh, battery powered electric saw. I find it pretty powerful. I've done, uh, I've read some reviews and they are comparable to like small um, 50 cc or 60 cc gas powered chainsaws and uh, I try to minimize for future my reliance on, uh, on uh, gas because the nearest gas station is uh, 60 kilometers away so uh, I, uh, you know, I try to do electric as much as possible with the hope that in future we will have some uh, solar and wind power here and uh, 
we we'll still use uh, generators and stuff, but uh, um, kind of minimize the the uh, number of devices that uh, require gas. So if you have uh, the um, gas powered generator and um, charge everything else, uh, that will work fine with me. So yeah, I guess that's it for now. This is the this is the work. Uh, I think I can manage uh, this trip at least in terms of the manual work. Tomorrow we'll be cleaning up, moving some supplies from the motorhome into the shed, and uh, get on our way home. Well, and the water fell again. So that's really interesting to see how much the water level changes within just a few hours or a day or two. And before you know it, it's Sunday and we have to pack. Um, didn't get much done, but um, at least something. It's uh, bit by bit, you know. I also want to do a 3D LiDAR scan of the land, so I have a 3D model, especially because of this thing here, <laughs> um, which is a steep wall of the road, and um, uh, the way the plants are shaping up for our house, it looks like at least part of the house will be on stilts that will come from down below. So we will have to figure out um, the 3D shape and uh, how to design it. It's all very complicated. So I used my uh, 3D scanner app on my phone that uh, is a LiDAR scanner and uh, I did some scanning here. Right now it's processing the data. Hopefully this will give us nice 3D view of the lot so we can plan to, uh, to get that to the designer and to the builder. So they know what they deal with, or what we deal with. And here is the lot without all the vehicles and other things. The cabin should extend from there about... Should extend from there to about here. And this will be the front edge. Either way, this is the property, not the property, this is the building pad. And here the scan has finished. <laughs> 